Don't use this. Use this. That's right. Mother Nature gives us some great tools to build beautiful, abundant, highly fertile, productive gardens. So here are the top tools from Mother Nature for building amazing, abundant, fertile soil. Well, first and most obviously, there's compost. Compost feeds the soil, not the plants, so it doesn't cause those pest and disease problems. But what's even better is mulch. That's right, there are a bunch of studies like this where one where mulch alone beat compost, which beat fertilizer, which beat all of these like fancy microbial brews that are supposed to improve soil. What improves soil? You don't need any of that fancy stuff. Mulch wins. And what's even better than mulch are plants. Whatever kind of problem soil you have, whether it's too much clay, too much sand, no life in it, if you can find some plant that will thrive in that soil, you've started the process, the magical process of ecological succession. That plant will photosynthesize, pull carbon from the atmosphere and energy from the sun, combine them into nutrients in the soil. All the good stuff that's in compost and mulch is in plants. So you're growing the good stuff on the soil you're trying to improve. And even better than regular plants are perennial plants, which beat annual plants. Because they live longer, they make deeper roots, send their roots far and wide, filling the soil with those carbon pathways, building great soil structure, and building long-term relationships with microbiome. That long-term relationship allows a more complex microbiome to develop, so you're getting even better microbial biomass and biodiversity. Biodiversity is good! Which is why it's good to use a biodiversity of plants, a polyculture, instead of a monoculture. Diverse polyculture kicks butt at building amazing soil. Now, Mike, what polyculture should I use for my soil? You're about to be so disappointed in me. Whatever stage your soil is in right now, you already have the perfect polyculture that evolved to make great use of your soil. We call this magical soil building polyculture... Weeds. Weeds are the plants that evolve to thrive on whatever your soil is. That's why we call them weeds. They're so successful on our soil that they outcompete the plants that we're trying to grow. Well, so you have your weeds and then also add some nitrogen fixers and some other valuable plants so that you enjoy whatever that garden is. Now, another great soil building tool from nature are bison. That's right, before the colonial period, North America had soils that were like 30 feet deep and just filled with carbon, rich, amazing soils. That soil was built by bison grazing all of that matter and then leaving it there on the ground in various forms to be decomposed by bacteria. But Mike, I don't have a bison. It's like Gandhi said, be the bison you wish to see in the world. Those weeds, those soil building plants you're growing, chop and drop them. Cutting them stimulates more growth and fast forwards the whole process. Plus we like mulch. This is why all my gardens have perennial mulch maker plants like artichoke in the bed so I can chop and drop them. And I've got mulch maker hedgerows so I can just chop and drop those and I always have a source of mulch right there in my garden. 